All right, let's bring in Jim DeFitti to join us in this discussion. The four of us have lived in South Florida a long, long time. Add it all up, we've done it. We're talking about 131 years. We'll let you viewers figure out how that all divvies up. But uh, let me start, and you know, as a sports anchor, I've covered six Super Bowls here in South Florida over the past 32 years. And so being at events, which attract huge crowds is not new to me, and attending events, uh, attracting largely black audiences is not new to me. I'm thinking of Jazz Nagards, for example, in, in Miami Gardens, but I don't recall ever an event where it seemed to me that there was such an antagonistic approach to uh, controlling the crowd. I don't understand why crowd control has to feel that way. And obviously, you look at some of the stories that we see, it seems to me that all of the black visitors here are painted with the same broad brush, even if there are just a smidgen of people who are causing all the problems. Well, Jim, let me say, first of all, in Lauren's defense, that 131 years is mostly <laughs> myself and the two Jims. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so that's for Lauren. Uh, you know, I've been around this town for a long time, and I know that spring break is nothing new. I was a reporter when spring break was big in Fort Lauderdale. I can't mm -hmm. tell you how many times I covered the same story. A young person would jump off the balcony of a building mm -hmm. into a swimming pool, miss the swimming pool, and die. Mm -hmm. I covered that story more than once. That was craziness, craziness going on during spring break. We know that, not just in South Florida, but different parts of the country. I think what you had this time around was a perfect storm for disaster. First of all, you have a pandemic. You have people who have COVID fatigue coming from places up north where the weather is not so nice. We have fantastic weather here in South Florida. We have some of the most beautiful beaches you can find. There are low cost airfares right now. The hotel rooms need the revenue. The clubs and the restaurants need the revenue. So it attracted these big crowds that have this pent up feeling to party and they're here to party. Uh, many of them misbehaving. They also got a signal from the governor of the state that Florida is open, guys. Despite the pandemic, come on down and party in the state of Florida. So I think all of that added up for a perfect storm that it really has left Miami Beach with a black eye that the whole country and the whole world can see. And Elliot, I think some of that message from the governor has also trickled down to those of us who live here. A lot of people saying, well, if Florida's open for business, does that mean that other states are not open for business? Should we stay here instead of traveling elsewhere? Because of course the pandemic is still ongoing. So people who may have normally not gone to South Beach, Miami Beach for spring break because they're from here, so they would go elsewhere, are deciding to stay closer to home now. So we're hearing a lot of people say, oh, this is tourists, this is out of towners. But Bobet Yates earlier today, mentioned that of the arrests made, 52% were out of towners, but that means the other 48% were from here in the state of Florida. I imagine that also includes several from here in South Florida as well. So it's not just the out of towners going to the beach, but it's also uh, people from South Florida who are deciding to try things a little differently, perhaps, than what they would have done in years past for spring break. I think a lot of it, as you mentioned, Elliot, comes down to that messaging from the governor that Florida is open for business. I'm wondering if maybe the message wasn't loud enough from the mayor of Miami Beach that wait Miami Beach is not really as open as you might expect. Jim DeFitti what do you think? Uh, well, a couple of things, just to pick up on what you guys are saying. You know, it wasn't just that Florida was open. It was that a lot of other places were closed. Uh, one of the big spring break places to go to is the Caribbean. But the Bahamas, the Virgin Islands, Jamaica, all shut down. Mexico, the resorts there shut down. So you couldn't actually see this. And I want to go back to a point Jim Barry was making, which was, the, uh, you know, I was I was a little troubled by what I heard from the mayor when he, when he started talking about, you know, pro, do we have to program for people who bring guns onto the beach no that's not that's not the issue you know and it's you got to be careful about painting all of the folks who are coming to Miami Beach as quote-unquote thugs and that's not his word but that's the essence of what is being conveyed I also heard the mayor say that essentially because of the pandemic we weren't going to do anything to accommodate the people who are coming well, that's great if you have the power to say don't come. But as you'll hear in a few minutes in the interview I have with Luther Campbell, you know, these people were coming. Folks were coming to Miami Beach. They could tell by hotel reservations. They could tell by airfares that were being that were being offered, travel agents that were packaging Miami Beach. So the question wasn't should we have something 
or not. The real question was, if people are coming here, what do we do with them? And it doesn't seem as if Miami Beach had an adequate plan. Yeah, and uh, a final thought. You know, the thing that troubled me most about what we've seen on the beach, all the black folks who are here, the young African Americans who are here, nobody wearing a mask, and we are the most vulnerable population when it comes to COVID. And you just wonder if this was a, just a big petri dish of people taking all these variants that we're hearing about back to their respective communities and further exacerbating this pandemic, which we are not out of just yet. So that obviously is also a big concern. Uh, Jim DeFiti, thank you. Well, you wouldn't know it by the scenes from South Beach as we mentioned, but yeah, there is still a pandemic going on. So here's the question. Is this a super spreader event? We'll talk about that next.